A hole in the road in Dixon County is causing some major problems for nearby business owners, and they say this has been a recurring issue. Julia Palazzo is live along Highway 46 in Dixon with a look at why these business owners are so upset. Well, it's a very large problem, Nikel, quite literally. This is what we're talking about. Now, the community here calls it a sinkhole here on Highway 46. However, it's technically not a sinkhole, but that's what they've nicknamed it for. And the problem with this is, you see the pipe that's being exposed a little bit? You zoom in here. That is what caused this. And if you look in the distance, it floods all of these businesses. Basically, every time it rains, they have to prepare for a situation like this, especially heavy rain. All of them have been affected by this in some way. So this is video of what it looked like this morning, water rapidly moving into businesses like the Dixon Sportsman Store and Wits Barbecue. Spoke to the owner of the gun shop not too long ago who was visibly upset. He told me this hole has caused them to flood, get this, 14 times in five years. A sign outside of his store today said, closed due to water cleanup, hoping to open by 1130. City of Dixon, fix your hole. So the owner says the city and state have gone back and forth over who's responsible for fixing it. He and other business owners filed a lawsuit together in November of 2018, and there was another suit filed by a real estate investment firm in June of 2018. The city responded in a formal document in April of 2019, saying that this was caused by a collapse of an underground culvert and that Highway 46 is state property and that taxpayers are not responsible for repairs. And TDOT did just get back to me. They said this is technically not a sinkhole, knowing that the community calls it this, but they did mention that pipe failure, and they said that they do believe it is not their responsibility. But since litigation is ongoing, they're not able to comment further at this time. And the city of Dixon, I spoke to them this morning, they said they can't comment further because of that pending litigation. Uh, this is something, of course, that people are getting frustrated about and we're continuing to try to get answers for. And as soon as we get more updates, uh, we'll be sure to pass it along to you here on air and also on WK. KRN.com. Reporting live in Dixon, Julia Palazzo, News 2.